we have to humble ourselves and submit to his holy will, and then he can work through us. So how can we allow him to work through us? So first of all, we really need to focus our prayers on those who work in the abortion industry. We need to look at them and realize they are not the villain, they are victims of a villain, and the villain is Satan in this whole situation. Abortion is a spiritual battle. So if we're willing to look at them and say, there but for the grace of God go any of us, then we need to love them and we need to witness to them about why life is sacred and that there is hope, that there is healing for them. And that's really the story of all of these workers. So the one that most people may have heard about is Abby Johnson. And so Abby was the director of the Planned Parenthood facility outside of which we did that first 40 Days for Life campaign. So Abby was there yelling at us through the fence. She was giving us a hard time. She was working her way up to become the clinic director and eventually a Planned Parenthood employee of the year. But what finally broke her heart was when she was called into the procedure room and she witnessed an abortion on an ultrasound. She had never witnessed an ultrasound guided abortion before. But when God finally peeled the scales away from her eyes, she watched a 13 week old baby lose his fight for life in the womb on that ultrasound screen. She said, I can't do this anymore. But then she went back to her office and through her tears, she looked out and she saw the people who had always loved her, who had always offered help to her. And she said, that's where I need to go. So she ran to those local people running the 40 Days for Life campaign. Within a few hours, I was on the phone with her. I was in Mississippi that day working with a pro-life group there. And we were helping her get legal assistance, helping her to get healing and everything else to move out of the abortion industry. But if we had been only confrontational to her, if we had been judgmental of her and just condemning of her, as opposed to showing her the love that Jesus Christ calls us to share with everyone, right? We're all sinners, but we have to have that understanding that we have to bring the love of Christ to help others heal and find forgiveness. And so Abby was able to leave the abortion industry, find healing, and eventually she was able to take the to whom much is given, much is required. She had this beautiful experience of love and redemption and healing. And from that, and I encouraged her and was on her initial board, she started a ministry called And Then There Were None, which today has helped more than 700 other workers leave the abortion industry as well by having that same understanding of the power of prayer, love, compassion, and that everybody is a sinner but needs healing in Jesus Christ and pointing them towards that. And then when they're ready, when, when God peels the, the scales away from their eyes, when they're ready, there are people there who will love them and help them out of the journey. That's the story we've seen time and time and time again.